Happy holidays! What's up everybody? You all, I am so excited. I can just like jump out of my skin. I'm so excited. Why? Because I'm doing my first ever vegan slash plant-based healthy holiday, okay? I've been living like this for four years and this is my first year going all out to do a healthy traditional meal, okay? So let's go! <laughs> What's on the menu? It's all vegan, of course. And it's 100% delicious. Hi, health lovers. Welcome back to Vegan Flower Child, all right? So if this is your first time tuning in, you are tuning in on a very good episode because we are going to be doing some holiday meal prepping and I cannot wait to show you what we're going to be having, all right? But first, I wanna say if you are new to the channel, if this video gives you life, go ahead and like it. And I just want everybody to comment below and tell me what you're making for Christmas dinner, okay? So you all, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you what's on the menu. I have a list right here. That's how I organize. All right, so you all, we're making macaroni and cheese, okay? We're also having dressing. We're having a sweet potato pie. You all, I can't wait to make my own sweet potato pie. This is gonna be delicious, okay? Oh, and I bought some vegan whipped cream, so we, you know, we gonna hook it up. Cranberry sauce for the dressing, of course. Can't have dressing without cranberry sauce. You know, you gotta have that sweetness going. Some potato salad, okay? And I'm also going to have tofu for the meat. I'm going to season it to perfection. And you all, I am going to try to make my own eggnog. I'm gonna do it with ripple milk though, and I'm gonna put my own spices because I want it to have, you know, a good amount of sugar in it, not uh, the eggnog I saw, it just had too much for me. So I'm gonna try to make my own. But you all, that is what we're having. So let's go ahead and look at what we have. Now, I don't know if y'all ready for all these plant-based holiday vibes, but here we go. You all, that is a good looking counter. Oh my gosh. I'm too excited. We have some collard greens, mustard greens. I'm going to be making potato salad, cornbread mix, some sage for the dressing, all of our seasonings, some jerkins for the potato salad. Gotta have a little sweetness. Celery, veggie broth, mayo for the potato salad, sugar for the pie, a little cheese. And I have cashews because I'm gonna make my own cheese, but we're gonna add a little bit of that coconut whipped cream, some cranberry sauce from Trader Joe's, the milk, chickpea elbows, a little bit of butter and some onions. You all, this holiday dinner is about to be amazing. All right, you all, so I'm gonna go ahead and start prepping. I'm going to first start off by cleaning the greens really well and get those on because they take about eight to 10 hours. So those are going to be slow cooking. And I'm also going to go ahead, clean my potatoes and cut them up for my potato salad and my sweet potato pie. And then everything after that will be simple. Like those are the things that take the most time. So I'm gonna start there first. Yes, we are cleaning the greens, okay? I'm gonna let these soak. I always saw my mother let them soak for a while, take them out the sink, let that water out and then soak again. And we're gonna work on the potatoes in the meantime. All right, you all, so I'm going to go ahead and start on the potato salad. And I'm just going to go through and cut the skin that doesn't look that great. But other than that, I'm going to leave the rest of the skin on because I really like it in the potato salad. And I'm going to cut it in half and just put it in my pot. And we're going to get that on the stove and then do the sweet potatoes. All right, you all, so before I do the sweet potatoes, I'm going to go ahead and soak my cashews, okay? And that's because this is going to be my cheese sauce, you all. This is gonna be throughout the macaroni and cheese. And I am going to add this on top just to give it that melted, cheesy look that's traditionally found on macaroni. And I'm just going to pour a little bit of water on this so we can soak it for 30 minutes. And they're gonna get nice and soft and they're gonna blend easily. I'll be able to add my nutritional yeast to it and my other spices. So we'll just put this to the side and now we'll start on the sweet potatoes. All right, y'all, so it's time to do the sweet potatoes and I'm just going to take my vegetable peeler and peel them, cut them, put them in the pot. 
Now for the sweet potato pie, I do have to peel it. So this is gonna take just a little bit of time, but I only have about eight sweet potatoes, so it won't take too long. I went ahead and soaked the greens again. I drained the water. And the water, it wasn't real nasty, but it was dirty. So I'm gonna soak them a third time just to make sure I got all the dirt out. And hopefully I can get those going in the next hour just so it can start the process because they take a while. All right, you all, so the sweet potatoes are on, so it is officially in the works. I'm so excited about this because I love pie. And you all, the greens are picked and they're soaking for the third time. So I'll just be able to take them out the water, put them in the pot and put them on the stove. So that is taken care of. And in the meantime, I'm going to start cutting my veggies for my dressing. So I'm gonna do about one and a half onion. Sage, you gotta have the sage. I'm going to do two stalks of celery. The mushroom will be my meat, all right? And some green bell peppers. I want it to feel like a really traditional dressing. So I have all the spices, have the veggies, and I'm going to go ahead and cut those. And then after, I'll start working on the cornbread. Yeah, we're gonna work on the cornbread. <laughs> All right, you all, so the vegetables for the dressing, they're cut, and I'm about to put the cornbread in the oven. It looks so good, and it smells really nice, too. So for the cornbread, I used the Pamela's, and this is just my personal favorite. I love the ingredients in it. And you all, for the egg, I had to use flaxseed <laughs> and coconut sugar. I have the sugar just so the cornbread wouldn't be too sweet. And I'm gonna go ahead and get this in the oven and my potatoes are ready. So I'm going to make my potato salad hot. You wanna make it while it's hot so the flavors can marinate together. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. All right, you all, the potato salad is done almost. I just have to add some sweet jerkins to it to complete it. It looks so good. All I have to do is let it sit in the refrigerator overnight and the flavors are just gonna come together so well. The cornbread came out really good too. I just added some sweet jerkins, black pepper, onion and garlic powder, some mustard, and some mayo to make the potato salad. So I'm gonna give it a little try on camera. Let's just see what it tastes like without the jerkins. Mm-hmm. You know the best part about this? I didn't put any salt in it and it's perfect. Like it's a little sweet, it's savory. I can't wait to have this cold tomorrow. All right, you all, so the veggies are done sauteing and I'm just going to add that to my cornbread along with some sage and some veggie broth. And it's gonna be super good. This is what the cornbread looks like. Cause you're trying to break it all up and make it more watery because it's gonna bake again. Mm -hmm. So we're baking it for a second time. Bake again. Okay. So now I'm just going to go ahead and add my veggies. So this is mushroom, garlic, onion, bell pepper, and celery. So we're just gonna add it in here. And I have my pan preheating in the oven. but we are on dish three out of seven and those other dishes aren't gonna take that long. Right now I'm working on the sweet potato pie, which I am looking forward to the most out of all the dishes. I'm just gonna be honest because I have a sweet tooth like no other. So for the creamy consistency, I'm going to use almond milk. To keep it together, I'm going to use the flax egg. For sweetness, I'm going to use some coconut sugar. And then my seasonings, I have some nutmeg, some cinnamon and some vanilla. So the last dishes that I'm going to be making would be the tofu, the macaroni and cheese, the greens, and the eggnog. Now, this is the pie crust that I chose. It's gluten-free, and I'm going to preheat these. I'm gonna watch them so I don't burn them. You all, I am opening the spices to put it in this sweet potato pie. And this vanilla, oh my gosh. Real vanilla smells just amazing. Oh my goodness. Mm, it was definitely worth the money. 
Oh my gosh, we just made vegan sweet potato pie. I just wish you all knew how good this is. So I'm just gonna smooth it over like that. I'm gonna put a little bit more in there. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I really need a three pie crust, but I only have two. So when the stores open back up, I'm definitely gonna go get another one so I can put the rest of that in there. All right, y'all, the pies are going in. The dressing is almost ready. Don't wanna lose it. All right, the pasta is underway, the macaroni and cheese. So I'm about to make the cheese sauce, so some cashews, some nutritional yeast, a little bit of salt and pepper, and I'm going to mix that throughout the pasta, and then I'm going to bake it and put the cheese shreds over it. So I'm just gonna layer my macaroni and cheese now. So I'm going to do the nutritional yeast cheese and then I'm going to do the macaroni and then the cheddar shreds. traditions okay but they put so much sugar and filler ingredients in the eggnog and I just want to make my own just so I know what's in it and I feel more comfortable drinking having a treat so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I'm going to do I'm gonna use some ripple milk some unsweetened vanilla I'm going to add some more vanilla to it vanilla extract some cinnamon some nutmeg and some coconut and hopefully all those flavors together bring together that good eggnog taste. All right, you all, so it does look like eggnog in my opinion. I know eggnog always has like the black spices peeking through the milk. Let's see. I'm probably gonna get a whisk and whisk it a little bit. It smells nice. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so amazing. We just made our own eggnog, you all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, you all, so I've blended it to get all the flavors mixed in well. So we're just gonna pour it in here and refrigerate it overnight. I love that it's frothy. So I might blend it again tomorrow. I might just make an eggnog hot chocolate and put some whipped cream on it. You never know what's gonna happen. The sweet potato pies are ready. Look at that, the crust all golden. I didn't butter it, by the way. It looks amazing. All right, you all, so I'm going to be making curry tofu and it's gonna be super crispy. You wanna make sure that you get two books and press it out, or you can put it in a cloth and wring it out, but you wanna get all the water out if you want it to get nice and crispy. See, look at all that water. The macaroni is done and it looks amazing. Oh my gosh. Tell me that macaroni don't look good, y'all. Tell me it don't look good. All right, you all, so the tofu is finished. It is golden and crispy. And you all, I wanted a replacement for meat, so I used to have like turkey and ham, 
but I chose the tofu because it gives me a crunchiness and it takes the flavor of whatever you season it with. So it's really delicious. The collard greens are still going. Those will be going for a while because I want them nice and tender. And I got to bring some hot sauce over my mama's house tomorrow because I like collard greens with hot sauce. <laughs> I know somebody else does. Drop in the comments below if you like your collard greens with hot sauce. <laughs> but all right, you all, we've been cooking for 10 and a half hours. And I'm so excited about Christmas tomorrow. I need to get some beauty rest. Please drop a comment below and tell me what your favorite thing was that I made today, my mother and I. And I just want to say thank you to my mom for helping me with this because even though I cook a lot, my mom gave me so many tips. She even gave me some tips from my grandma. She was on the phone with her earlier and she gave her a trick for the collard greens. And I said, okay. It's like I needed to be here so the meal could come out better. I could have did it on my own, but it's definitely better together, okay? But you all, thank you so much, and happy holidays, and thank you so much for watching.